we were experimenting with things. When we became Learning Tree, one of the things I took with me in this work was to find people who we call healers in neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. And so I would go around and notice that people kind of threw parties. So January York, uh, one of my neighbors, Rowan Earl, and they was all living next door to each other. They would always have these gatherings and we got a little grant and we thought we would invest in what we call healers. And um, we did that. And then we invested in storytellers because I think people wouldn't believe that people do parties in our neighborhood, <laughs> right? So we need mm -hmm. to catch. In that, Rowan Earl and January came up with this idea called Open Fight Night. And it was this idea they were cooks and chefs and they wanted to invite other people in their front yards and they invited 35 people who were aspiring platers, <laughs> right, to do a plate. And they had 300 people show up. We gave them 300 bucks and they had 300 people show up to celebrate people. And that was the one of the first. So that was like that. We learned that. And then that fall, they replicated the party. We we gave them a $2,000 and we took a street and blocked it off and we had 1,100 people show up and it was called Open Bite Night. And what to me, you know, people say, well, it's a party. And so what? Well, it's the place where people become their truest self. Mm -hmm. If we pay attention, we'll notice that repair is happening. That That big Open Bite Night, we saw people who were enemies, hadn't talked to each other in years, shake hands and say, man, we shouldn't be like this. Mm -hmm. And I say that to say like all of the work we've done is about gathering. I mean, um, I'm, I'm gonna point across the street at the building, and Tim's seen this before, we talk about how like not only not only do we take the take it serious, uh, but people also got to see themselves celebrated. Yeah. So in front of the building mm -hmm. here, we put up 